Hello friends and welcome to today's project of making chocolate marquees. The chocolate marquees is a rich chocolate dessert made from dark chocolate, butter, sugar, cocoa powder, eggs and cream. It may be flavoured with vanilla and espresso. I have slightly modified this recipe to bring out certain flavours. The place of origin for this dessert is Venezuela. This is definitely a dessert for serious chocoholics. Let's begin. First, let's prepare the vessel at which this will get its shape from. Over here, I have a baking tin with the dimensions of 6 cm for the height, 21 cm for the length, and 11 cm for the width. Line the baking tin with some baking paper. You can cut out two large strips. Don't worry about the corners. I also secured the baking papers with some clips to keep them in place. Now we can begin with the chocolate mixture. In a mixing bowl, place in 115 grams of butter. Take your whisk attachment and go over to the mixer. Turn on the mixer, we want to soften and whip the butter. Once your butter is soft, let's talk about the sugar. In total, you will need 115 grams of vanilla sugar. I separated them into two for another purpose. So each bowl will have about 57.5 grams of sugar. One will go to the butter and the other for the eggs. By the way, I have a video on how to make vanilla sugar on the top right corner. Pour one of the bowls of vanilla sugar into the butter. Continue to whip. Scrape down the sides after a few minutes. This will ensure a proper whip. Whip it some more until it turns white. When it turns white, you will then know that you have whipped plenty of air into the butter. We want that. Take the butter out and place that into another bowl. Keep that to one side for now. Next, take 90 grams worth of egg yolks and place that into a mixing bowl. Take your whisk attachment and start whisking the egg yolks. Once the egg yolks have gotten some volume, add in the second bowl of vanilla sugar. Continue whisking it. So remember I mentioned that you could add in espresso? I decided to do one better and instead of coffee, I will put some coffee liqueur in the form of Kahlua. I am using this for two reasons. The Kahlua flavor is more intense and the alcohol content will take care of the raw egg yolks. Measure out 120 grams of Kahlua. We will now go back to the whisking egg yolks. Just look at that. It looks creamy already. Slowly pour the Kahlua in. After that has mixed for a couple of minutes, measure out 60 grams of cocoa powder. Place a sieve on the top and sieve in the cocoa powder. This will ensure that there are no lumps. After you have mixed in the cocoa powder, mix in the whipped butter from earlier. It looks so smooth and shiny. Leave that to one side for now. Now let's talk about the chocolate I will be using. I am using chocolate from a brand called Calabao. This chocolate is 70% with an intense roasted flavor with fruity hints. Measure out 225 grams. Melt it in the microwave at 30 seconds burst. Make sure you mix it after every 30 seconds, otherwise it can burn. Just as a reference point, this chocolate is about 40 degrees Celsius. Keep that on standby. Now we can take care of our whipping cream. Take a large bowl. Traditionally you would whip the cream, but I am not going to do that because I find that if you whip the cream, the end product will be stiffer than you intend it to be. We want it to be smooth and mousse-like, so I'm not going to whip the cream. So just pour the melted chocolate in and mix that. It's almost like you're creating a ganache. You can use your whisk to start and then finish it with your spatula. It already looks mousse-like. Now take a bigger bowl, pour the mixture in and bring over the previous mixture. We're going to incorporate both of them. Mix it in batches. Fold while you go.
you want it to be slightly runny, it will harden up in the fridge. Take a spoon and you can enjoy it right now. So, so smooth. Pour it in your already prepared baking tin. Pour in half and tap down. Also, use your spatula to move things around to avoid any air pockets. Fill it to the top. Carefully take your time and use a pellet knife to level the top. Once everything is leveled, you can place some cling film on the top. Place it in your fridge to set overnight. In the meantime, while waiting, do check out my other videos. The next day, take it out from the fridge. Peel back the cling film. If you have a blowtorch on standby, you can use that or you can submerge the baking tin in some hot water. This is just to loosen the sides. By the way, I also had a small heart attack when I accidentally broke off the baking paper. But not to worry, I still had the other three to work with. Once you start to feel the mousse becoming loose, you can flip it onto some baking paper. If you are not happy with the lines created by the paper, you can take your blowtorch and pellet knife and smoothen the surface. You can also do it by dipping your pellet knife in some hot water and wiping the water off, and that works as well. The final part is to dust the top with some cocoa powder. Now, use a warm knife. Cut yourself a decent slice and have a bite. That is so rich, full of chocolate flavor, with complementary notes from the vanilla sugar and the added Kahlua. Plus, to add some more dimensions, I added some homemade raspberry jam. Rich chocolate dessert with some raspberry jam? Come on, who doesn't want that? I have a video on how to make your own homemade raspberry jam. It is on the top right corner. Well, there you have it, chocolate marquise. I'm telling you, go and make this, you won't be disappointed. I was put into a chocolate coma after I was done eating this. It was worth it. Thank you for watching. As usual, it was a pleasure having you with us on this journey today. If you enjoyed what you watched, please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to be notified of upcoming videos. And we shall see you in the next one. Bye for now.